Well, there are close to 500 people in Genesee County who don't even have a place to call home. So where are they supposed to quarantine right now? As our Ann Perrette reports, homeless shelters are still up and running. All new at four, she shares the challenges they're facing to keep our community's most vulnerable safe. Father God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you put your hands protected around everybody around in this circle and our families, Lord Jesus, to protect us from things seen and unseen. We know that you have all power. Well, here at Carriage Town, we don't take prayer lightly. We ask all of these things in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And we do believe God has blessed us by taking care of our people. Executive Director Dallas Gatlin says when the viral outbreak began, Carriage Town Ministries feared the worst. But so far, he says only a handful of people have gotten sick. We literally have people close together all day, every day. The residents have been pretty good about staying close to home. The ones who leave are ones who have jobs. That group of people is staying together at one location. Gatlin says they wash their clothes as soon as they get home and their temperatures are checked often, just like the rest of the more than 100 people staying in their shelters. We never stopped intakes. If somebody wants to, a place to stay, they can come to Carriage Town. We will take temperatures of everybody a couple times a day just to see if somebody's developing a, a fever. Those who have symptoms are quarantined and monitored. If anyone tests positive, Gatlin says they worked with Hurley Medical Center to create a clinic where they're treated. That same clinic can be used to treat homeless people who come into the hospital but aren't sick enough to stay there. I thank God for, you know, Cares Town and places like this to, to be able to help people that has nowhere to go. Tracy Armour has been living here for a little over two weeks. I had to come back from Indianapolis, Indiana, that's where I'm originally from, to come back up here to take care of some um, legal per paperwork. So I got stuck up here doing this coronavirus. It's no uh, transportation, the bus is not running or anything. Gatlin says they've had a few new guests in similar situations left homeless thanks to the pandemic, and he expects that number to skyrocket when life returns to normal. Right now, it might be kind of artificially dampened because of uh, what's called stimulus checks uh, have, have been out there for some, but we fully anticipate this year is going to be a tough year. In Flint and Perrette, ABC 12 News.